What's the deal with cringy influencers living together? I swear every platform has their posse of creators that band together and become one unit. Just one factory that produces recyclable content. Just pooping out TikToks, vlogs, and manufactured drama. Actually, I shouldn't say every social media platform. Twitter doesn't have one, but if they did, I would assume that it would be called the birdhouse. And if it's not, I'm copywriting that shit because that is money waiting to happen. Everyone is doing it. I need to understand it. I need to get to the bottom of it. Maybe I need to do it myself, I don't know. But today we're gonna take a look at what's going on within these influencer houses. So I made a list of all the different houses that I could come up with on my own. And then I asked for your guys' help on Instagram, at iPhilion, because I don't, I don't know all the houses, you know? New houses come and go. Social media moves really fast. I'm 22, and sometimes I feel like a boomer not knowing what the fucking Sway House is. What is the Sway House? There's one fact alone that keeps me from ever wanting to live in one of these influencer houses. Not that I've been invited to any, but if I were to hypothetically be invited to a content house, this one fact alone will keep me from ever joining it, but I'll explain that later. Let's get into the houses. Today is off to a fucking amazing start. We're moving in to the new Team 10 house. The Team 10 house, otherwise known as the Puss Boy Mansion, is home to the worst content on YouTube. That's because there's no through line to the Team 10 house. There are no themes, no narrative, no plot. It's just diarrhea splatter on the wall that makes money. They don't do anything original at all. They take ideas from Logan Paul, David Dobrik, and the Nelk boys. They fuse it into one and it just doesn't work. Nothing makes any sense here. You're gonna hurt your brain trying to understand what you're watching. Somehow I got a jet to Miami and then that's just my, my ex-wife. Oh my God. <laughs> if you throw a narcissist, some LA posers, and too much money into a blender, you get the Team 10 house. They're trying to convince themselves that their audience is now older. Jake's channel is now rated R, but it's just sad. People are constantly leaving, joining, or getting kicked out of Team 10, and kids are on the edge of their seat waiting to see what happens next. Then you got the Maverick house, or Logan Paul's house, and his friends just live with him. Of all the houses on social media, this one seems decent and well-organized. They got a professional chef, nice living quarters, and different studios laid out all over the house. Podcast set, music studio, boxing ring, full gym, everything you need to make content if your Logan Paul is already in the house. The next two houses that I'm gonna talk about are a double whammy. It's a two for one special. It's the old phase house and the clout house. And I'm pretty sure they're right next to each other and they're near identical. I would always be so confused when I would see content made in these houses. The only differentiating factor is like who lives in which house. I don't know, it's just a fucking blur. Then you got the new phase house, which is Justin Bieber's old house in which they rent for 80 grand a month. I get go. crazy, on, let's boys, go! <laughs> then you got the Nelk house. This is just every Kappa Sigma Delta frat bros wet dream. Nothing really else needs to be said here. Then you got the Hype House. This is a TikTok house, and it's my worst nightmare. And the Hype House is living up to its name. Since they moved in together in December, the Gen Z group has over 150 million followers. I want to die. Then you got the Two Hype House, and I think people just play basketball here. I, I don't know. Then you got the Sway House. Like I said, I don't fucking know what a Sway is. What's up? How you doing? What's up? Hey, guess. How you doing? Hey. All right, moving on. Then you got the clubhouse. Now this is Daisy Keech's project. She left the hype house. She was like a founding member or some shit. She said, peace, I'm gonna do my own thing and I'm gonna start the clubhouse. And quite honestly, it's a good looking house. And there seems to be some pretty chill vibes here. Then you got the bite squad. Hey guys, welcome to the bite house. I think this is just like an English version of the hype house. Then you got the click house. What is going on everybody and welcome to the click house. This is an Australian content house. I'm unfamiliar with it. I don't know what goes on at the click house. The misfits house, bunch of gamers banded together and formed a podcast. And now they have the misfits house. We are in a house together. That's right. In a house. Offline TV house, gamers, streamers, and scientists live here. Welcome, welcome to Offline, Offline TV season two. Season two. Woo! Hey. The 1% house, a bunch of Fortnite players came together, cashed out, 
and now live in a fucking mansion. What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Austin on this formula introducing you guys the 1% team house. This is the official channel of our brand new org that we created and just to let you guys know real quick, we actually purchased this multi-million dollar property. Then you got the 100 Thieves house, which is a professional gaming team. We have officially moved into a brand new home. Like, are you kidding me? This kitchen? Last but not least, the baddie house. Now, I don't know what happened here, but what I do know is that me and my friend Matt's faces are on a dartboard somewhere in Spain. And we're about to go into this place called the Baddies House official, okay? Villa Tigra, hence the big tiger on the gate. This place is meant to be one of the craziest locations, villas in all of Ibiza. Like, if anyone has any information as to what happened to the Baddie House, please let me know, because this shit just vanished out of thin air. I think I covered all the houses. Now let's talk about the logistics of it all. First of all, these are not houses. These are monstrosities with 26 bedrooms, 31 bathrooms, and 8 garages. All of them have pools, elevators, and lounges to chill in after a hard day's work of making some riveting content. Every time I watch a tour of one of these houses, I'm like, there's no way that feels like home. It's not comfy, it's not cozy. Nothing is personalized except for your single cell bedroom that is confined to one area of the house. A lot of younger kids probably watch these tour videos and are like, oh sick, I wanna live in one of these, that's a big ass mansion. It's not a mansion, it's a glorified hotel. You're sharing everything. You can't fry up some eggs nude in the morning. You can't walk around and do whatever you want whenever you want. You're not a baller. Yeah, you may live in a mansion, but you're just a cog in the machine of printing YouTube ad revenue. Also, these houses are rented. It's a common strategy for big influencers to rent a house, fill it with smaller influencers, in which they then collaboratively 69 each other's content, plug each other's merch, feature in each other's videos, secure the bag, betray each other with some fake beef, and then do it all over again. Here's why I left the hype house. What really went down at the Team 10 house and why I left. Here's an idea. How about we go finish high school before we move into a Hollywood mansion? No? I'm alone on that thought process? All right. I swear there is so much wasted potential and wasted space when it comes to these houses. Like who's cooking, who's cleaning, who's paying rent? The people who are here and have a room here and have a place to stay here pay rent. Right. And then uh, like cooking, nobody cooks <laughs> at all. We all post I some pasta. <laughs> It's yeah, probably that's like, from yeah. a YouTube video. They have state-of-the-art kitchens with top-of-the-line appliances, and none of them know how to cook. This is freaking cool that you guys live in the LA Hills and you have a pool. The pool we use for a lot of videos. Yeah. We haven't actually had the time to kind of just enjoy the pool right. yet. None of us use the pool. We're always making top-tier content. All right, guys, so right when you walk in, we got this beautiful 160-bottle wine display. However, none of us drink wine. None of us drink wine. What are you doing? Give it to me. Send it my way. What are you doing with a wine rack filled to the brim that is not being used? Are you old enough to drink wine? I don't know. What is going on here? If you're not using it, give it to me. I feel like the content that gets produced at these houses just blurs together and meshes into this big piece of garbage. You lose originality. Everyone in the house is always making content together. It's like, don't you get tired of seeing the same people together all the time? Maybe I could become like this virtual real estate broker that gives house tours. Over here, we have the E-Boys selfie mirror where they take their Monday morning pictures with their dangly earrings. And over here, we have where the boys dance to Doja Cat. When my YouTube career dies and I have to team up with eight wacky creators in Beverly Hills and play hide and seek to get my views back up, Please show me this video so I remember my roots. Hey, Philly, I'm pulled up, fuck your bitch. Anybody wanna run up, put them all up in the ditch. Push boys, no go, better back up quick. You punk, don't flop, bitch, you ain't shit. 